hi guys welcome back to this new video and in this video we are going to see how we can show a module on column hover in Divi so this can be done with very small CSS and we'll be animating them as well so when you will hover over to the column your module will be shown with some animation and before we begin uh, I would like to tell you that I have also designed some fill outs as well which you can download for free by clicking on the, clicking on the download layout pack button enter your name email and then click on the button to download the layout so let's get started with this video so as you can see right over here I have this page designed and and here I have this section right over here and this is the section we are going to work with in this video so we have this blurb module here with this button and when we'll hover over to this blurb module we'll be showing the button after that with some animation so for that we'll first have to enable the visual builder and yeah we have to enable it man enable it go ahead and enable visual builder just okay uh, I, I like to be uh, a little bit of funny guy <laughs> it's taking him some time here don't know why oh my gosh <laughs> it's open okay so we have this blur module right here and it is covered with this column so we'll be adding class to the, this column here and then we'll be adding a class to button then putting some CSS and putting some animation then so let's first add a class to this column right here let's go to this column settings go to advanced CSS ID and classes and here you can put your own class so I'll be putting call col call just a simple class and I can copy CSS ID and class styles it's not a style man okay let's copy that and paste item styles maybe like that okay we are done with that let's go to the button button module settings advanced CSS ID and classes paste the class for your button I'll be just putting the class as button then copy CSS ID and class paste it to this button so we'll not have to go to each module and add the class so we are done with that let's go to the page setting advanced custom CSS and here we'll have to write the custom CSS so if you want to add a custom CSS here you can do so but if you like to add CSS in your DB team options or you like to add it in the core module you can do, do you can do so as well but we'll be adding to the page settings because it's easy okay so first let's uh, let's hide the button we'll have to hide the button so it will be appearing it will be shown when you hover to over to the column so we have added the class for the button then we'll have to change its opacity to zero so as you can see buttons are no more visible look at that and now let's put the class for the column and put a hover class then put the class for the button and that way let's put the opacity as one so we are already done with the uh, oh what happened okay so we are already done with the showing module on column hover look at this I like that so now we are done let me save this and see it in action look at that it's already looking cool 
but we'll have to add animation to it for this let's open a new tab and then type here animista and we'll be simply searching for it and open up the animista.net the first link you will see maybe <laughs> man this animation is super cool okay so let's click on this try me button to open a whole new world of animations okay you can choose your favorite animation from here so let's first accept the cookies that's a that's the main thing by clicking that button okay and now you will have to get your animation from these so many animations here and we have the entrances animations as well you can choose from many animations here and you put many animations inside of an animation class so i don't know <laughs> okay so this is the scaling animation with different categories right over here you have the scaling center you can replay it like that you have scaling top and i would like to add this to my button when we'll hover over to the button oh sorry sorry the column this column like that so let's get the code for this animation so this is how it's looking so for this we'll have to click on this generate code button and here we'll have to copy this animation class okay let's copy that go to the page we are editing before open up the area where you are writing your css and then we'll have to put that animation class where we have the opacity one you can you can see it right over here on the screen okay let's paste that here then we'll have to scroll down and copy the keyframes so this is the main thing you have to copy it and paste it below it for animation to work okay so be ready to see the magic okay one two three become look at that look at that it's coming with animation okay i would like to change the animation time to maybe 0.2 seconds and look at that now animation is faster and i like that so let's add a exit animation as well for this open up the animista and then go to exits and here i like to get the scale out top because we have selected scale in top so we'll have to match the animation and i would like to change the duration here so with that done let's copy the class like that way we have done before and then we'll have to paste that class where we have the opacity zero for the bottom let's paste that here then scroll down to the very bottom you can add some spacings if you like and then let's copy the keyframe for this animation to work and as you can see we are done okay now when i will hover over to this column you can see that buttons come with animation and go with animation look at that and this is just a simple example of a hover showing module on hover you will have you can have different things designed you can have any kind of idea if you have any idea you can do so by following this video it's just a simple example or maybe a simple design you can say and like that button shows up okay i would like to see in the front end and i have saved everything let's go to the page here let's refresh it and here look at that you can see that it comes with animation and go with animation as well so i have also designed some free layouts as i told before 
and you can download that for for free from the link in the description of this video the same way I have told you before and then you can simply download that and if you want to see the live preview you can click this button you will see this page and this is the person module with no animation as you can see social icon appears without any animation so if you scroll down here we go the person module with animation so when I hover over to this person module you can see that icon appears with some animation like that okay now this section is my favorite because we have the pricing tables designed very nicely I like this so when you will hover over to the pricing table you can see that we have the button to choose the plan like that and your price disappears I have done that with some CSS to hide the price when you will hover over to the column and show the button just just more lines of CSS and here we go the full menu so I've literally designed some full menu which isn't so great but just an idea you can say or an inspiration or whatever you call it okay here we go the full menu version 2 it comes with that so you can get this layout for free by clicking this button right over here on the screen as well and then uh, you're good to go so thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe please man I need some subscriptions for from you guys please click on the subscribe button go ahead press the subscribe button and the bell icon as well that would be appreciated and the main thing I forgot to say oh <laughs> okay you will have to like the video because I'm providing you some free layouts man please do it for me do it for me to provide you more freebies in upcoming videos so with that said goodbye